and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, just finished, we're doing a lamb and chickpea tagine. If you don't have a tagine, i.e. the earthenware pot, you can just do this in a regular pan. So, so many ways of making tagine. You'd sometimes get in there apricots and dried prunes and stuff like that. We're not using that today. We're using some sesame seeds and some pine nuts. Some people would put honey in there or some sugar to sweeten it. We've got some beautiful, beautiful spices on the go there. Now, it does take a while, this one, because it's a nice, slow cooker. We want our meat here to be super, super tender. Let's go and do it. Okay, first of all, let's take a look at our tagine. Now, if you don't have a tagine, then don't worry. You can just do this in a pan. You know, like a saucepan. This is just obviously the traditional dish that's used. So, like I say, no problem if you don't have one. Okay, let's take a look at some of the spices we're going to be using today. We've got our whole spices and our powders. Let's start with the powders. So, using this tiny little teaspoon here. So, two of those for turmeric, one of those for chili, one of those for cumin powder, half of one of those of green cardamom powder, one of those for salt, one for pepper, one for coriander powder, and two for garlic powder. Now you could be using saffron in this. I don't have any saffron. Instead, I'll be using turmeric. And in our whole seeds here, in the center there, that's a dried black lemon or lime. I've got some cinnamon stick there, cumin seeds, a few cloves, little bit of optional red dried chili and a few green cardamoms as well, whole ones. That's about it for that. What we're going to do is we're going to combine all of these in with our lamb and we're going to add a touch of oil and give it a good mix. Okay, so I've got my lamb pieces here with, there's quite a lot of bone in this with meat and fat. I don't mind the fat. If you want, you can trim a lot of the fat off, but I've got a little bit of fat on there, which I don't mind at all. So we're going to start off by adding to this some, we've got a nice sort of quality olive oil. I'm just going to pour that over. What that's going to do is kind of help all of our spices stick on there. Now we can just start getting in our whole ones in. So there we go. That's the black lemon or lime, the cinnamon stick. You could be using cinnamon powder if you wanted. Optional dried red chili. And then here we go, we've got cumin seeds, a little bit of clove and whole green cardamom pods there. Now for our powders, let's just have a little recap on that. So again, garlic powder, turmeric, chili, cumin powder, cardamom powder, salt, pepper, coriander powder. That's what I'm using today. I mean, there's loads and loads of different options you could use with this. So in that goes in there. We're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna give this a good mix. Ideally, you'd like to cover that in some shrink wrap or, wrap or plastic wrap and put that in the fridge for maybe an hour or so. That'll kind of just help it kind of get on its way. I'm gonna give this a mix. See you in a moment. So here we are at the cooker. We've got my tagine there. Like I say, no problem. If you've just got a pot with a um, lid, that's all you need. We're now going to start to put in our seasoned meat. What we're going to do is we're going to pop this heat on medium with the lid. Now there's no need to put any oil in this pan because you've got oil already on the meat, don't forget. So we're gonna stick, yeah, stick this on a medium heat and we're gonna brown this for about 10 to 15 minutes. I mean, that's because I've got quite big chunky parts there with lots of bone in. So on goes the lid, heat goes on, 
back in about 15 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, let's jump inside and take a look. This is browning really nicely. Obviously nowhere, nowhere near cooked yet. But we have kind of sealed it a little bit. Now what I like to do is just now add some water, cold water. Then I'm going to put the lid back on. We're just going to let that water kind of do its thing. It will kind of steam out and it will help kind of tenderize it a bit. So again, I'm going to come back, medium heat, about eight to nine minutes. Okay, again, we're going to jump in. And as you can see, that water has reduced down. And it's just started to kind of tenderize the meat for us. And we're still quite a long way off with this. I'm now going to add some sliced onions in the mix. And again, the lid's going to go back on. And we're going to go again for about another 10 minutes. This is certainly not a dish you want to be making in a hurry. We can give it a stir every now and then. And what I like to do is I like to keep a little bit of moisture in there, as I say, just to help tenderize our meat. I mean, if you're using just sort of cubed, boneless lamb, this would cook a lot, lot faster. Saying that, you would lose a lot of the flavor. There's a lot of flavor in the fat and in the bone, obviously, the bone marrow will come out. See you in a bit. So just as our onions start to cook down, totally optional, but I'm now going to put in some butter. There's a couple of big knobs, we call them, of butter in there. And then some fresh tomatoes. You could be adding some honey to this if you wanted, or some sugar at this stage. Very popular to do that. That's lovely. Just a little touch more water. Lid's gonna go back on. We're on kind of a, just above a simmer below a medium. That's going to go again for about another 20 minutes. Okay, let's jump inside and take a look now. That's looking wonderful. The tomatoes have broken down and given off more moisture. So it's all about sort of adding the spice to the meat and then getting the meat nice and tender. That's why it's taking such a long time. Okay, at this point, I'm now going to add in some cooked, already cooked, chickpeas. Now if you wanted you of course you could be adding carrots, potatoes, eggplants, zucchini, this goes on and on. And to that I'm now going to add some black razors. Now straight, these are completely dry straight ones in they go. Some people will boil them or fry them in some honey and butter. But these work for me just like this, straight like this. And again, dried apricots obviously go really well with this dish, as do prunes. Today I'm just going to go with this. I mean, I'm going to finish it off with some sesame seeds and some pine nuts. But again, almonds, boiled almonds with their shells off are, of course, very, very popular. Right. That's about that there. Lid back on again. We need to go for about another 10 minutes again. Like I say, this is not a quick dish, but it is gonna be delicious. You can give it a stir every now and then. Okay, so our chickpeas have cooked in really nicely and our dried fruit, perfectly soft. 
Now it's just all about getting the meat really, really tender. And like I said before, that depends on the size, the quality that you've used. So I'm gonna let this go now for about 20 minutes. You could let this go for an hour, hour and a half easily. You could just slowly, slowly cook it and it'll be beautiful. I'm gonna go for about 20 more minutes, then it should be done. We're gonna do one more thing after that, just to add on to the top and it's gonna be ready. Okay, off goes the heat. And there we go. That is really beautiful. That meat's really nice and tender now. You want to check that for salt. There's enough in there for me. You might want to add some more. I'm just going to finish this off with some pine nuts, which I like. Like I say, almonds are also very, very popular for this dish. Now if you wanted, you could be putting some fresh cilantro or coriander on this, or parsley. And then, some sesame seeds. That for me is done. Like I say, so, so many ways of making this dish. Chicken with egg, beef, lots of different types of dried fruit like apricots and so and so, prunes. This is our little version we're doing today. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?